Hi, Javier. Hello. How are you today? I am tired, teacher. <laughs> yes, it's Thursday. Yes. It's Thursday. But in my case, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's every day. <laughs> every day. Yes. yes. Yeah, I know. Because you have to you have to be very active during the day, I guess. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That doesn't help too much. Yes. Okay. And, and tomorrow we have class, remember. Okay. No 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 break tomorrow. Hey, minor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Very good. Okay. A lot of fun today. No. No. A lot of work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. How about you, Paulo? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was the day? My day was very, very well. Okay. That sounds good. Yes. Hey, Elena. Good evening. How are you, Elena? Fine, thanks. And you? Okay. It was a good day. Yes. Very, very cool. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Still nice, nice weather we have now, right? Yes. Well, so we have uh, no no heat. So that sounds that's good. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We have to. I have to close some windows. Okay, I have today. Marina Santos is here too. Hello, Santos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Good. Good. Go, go. What did you do today, Santos? What was your what was, what was your agenda? Oh no. It is the working the occupier uh -huh. and the closing the period. Okay. Then you, you where do you work? Order. Where? What? Where Where do you work? Ah, in the finance area. Ah, okay, yes. In so, Share Service Center. Mm -hmm. So this is the closing date, right? So yeah. we have to, to present all, all and prepare all the reports. Yeah. Of a quarter. Close the AP mm -hmm. accounts payables mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you report the and the, rece the receivable too payable and yeah. receivable mm -hmm. yeah okay. um, uh, prepare report the 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 the, uh, the analyst in the closing the the month. Okay, yes, I I understand that. It's a lot of work these days and a lot of a lot of pressure, right? Yeah. They want everything immediately. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's very yeah. special. Okay. Mm. Well more or less. More but or that's less. okay. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
Uh, just uh, remember that tomorrow, Friday, is a special day, right? We're going to have class because we didn't have class on Monday, okay? This week only to, to replace, you know, to, to make up for that uh, class. So the next week we, go, we come back to Monday and to Monday through Thursday, okay? Just uh, tomorrow is going to be that exception, okay? Good, now let's see where we stopped yesterday. Wait a minute. This is our. All right. So here's where we stopped yesterday, right? We had a knowledge check. Okay, yes, we had the questions with the map. Okay, here we go. It's pretty safe. But Participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> okay. No, um, fortunately, it is a safe neighborhood, right? <laughs> it's a safe place. Okay, now listen again. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. Okay. Now... Do you have any questions about the vocabulary or some, uh, let's say, uh, expressions, any expressions that? I have one. Uh -huh. uh, parking garage. Okay, this is a, a place where you, can, uh, where you can park your car, right? Uh, for example, it, the uh, a building? parking, yeah, like a building because uh, the par okay. parking zone is in the street, right? Or parking yes. in a, what? In a, Maybe in a, in a mall, in a shopping center, you find parking spots. But in a parking garage, it's a place where you can go and leave your car there, near your house, right? Okay. And here in El Salvador, I guess that we don't use it very much because we usually park our house, our cars in front of our house or in the 
garage of, of the houses, the ones who have a garage, right? But in but some people, when they go to downtown, maybe now in San Salvador during the day, so you have to pay a parking garage where you can leave your car for hours or for one night or for one, one day, something like, like that. The, Something mm -hmm. like the parking garage of the in, in San outside of, of a, a Plaza Morazan. Uh huh. Probably something like that. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good. Now, what else do we have? Any other word? No. Look at this, for example, is there much crime? They use crime, you know, like, uh, for example, all kind of uh, different kinds of crimes, right? Like uh, stealing, robbery, uh, killing, okay? Uh, thing is, uh, like probably not just uh, mangling people. So this one is just called crime. Every single act that is against the law, right? So that's crime. And let me see what else, the apartment, downtown. Yes, right? And then they are using the expression, okay, this expression, how do you like? Remember the meaning of how do you like? What is the synonym of how do you like in English? Another expression similar to that? If I say, how do you like, how do you like my, how do you like my pen? Okay, another question would be similar. What's your opinion? Okay, what's your opinion about my pen? This is how do you like? Okay, it's not what do you like or do you like? This is how do you like means what's your opinion? How do you like El Salvador? What's your opinion of El Salvador? How do you like uh, Cancun? Okay, what's your opinion about it? Okay. How do you like uh, English? How do you like Spanish? How do you like my sweater? How do you like my glasses? Whatever, okay? So this is asking for opinions. And if you say, and if you see the answer, it says, I love it. I like it very much. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. So then the, the answer will depend on how you react, how you feel about something. For example, you can say, how do you like uh, Honduras? Uh, well, I love it. I liked it very much. Uh, I didn't like it that much. So I don't like it at all. Okay, whatever you can give an opinion, right? It's just your opinion. Okay. Then, uh, is there much noise? Let me see what else. Uh, there's, yeah, Korean. Well, around the corner, you know what meaning is. Pretty safe. It's like very safe. Hold on, in this case it's, you know, like, wait, right? Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, hold on, I'll answer that question in a minute. Just hold on, just give me a couple of minutes, seconds, okay? And I call you back later. Now, if you see also the practice here is the question, much and many. Where's, uh, where's, where's many? Okay, how many? Okay, so there are, there are two questions that we should practice today is how much and how many. Okay, for example, okay, what are some questions that we can, that we can use with how many? Can use how many? Okay. Now we can practice our, our general uh, knowledge. Okay, we can say 
How many? How many, how many days are there in a week? How many? Seven, Seven days. Seven days, okay. Very good. Okay, how many, how many days are there in a year? You teacher. Uh huh. Three, how many? How many? Uh huh. Three oh. thousand sixty-six days. Oh my goodness, that's ten years. Only one year. Only one year. Uh huh. Oh, how many days? Oh, how many? How many days are there in one year or in a year? One year. Uh huh. Three hundred. Three hundred sixty-six days. 365 years, 65. 65, okay? Yes. 65, oh, okay. I'm sorry. But if you say leap year, how many days are there in a leap year? 66. Uh huh. This is when February has 29 days. That's a leap year. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good, thank you. Okay, so then in how many days are there in 10 years? Okay, that would be like 3,652 3, more or less. Okay, because you have uh, the two, there are every, every four years we have a leap year, right? So then that means that in 10 years, you're gonna have two leap years. So two, teacher, ex two this, extra days. Teacher. Yes, sir. This year, eh, que no es año bisiesto este. Eh, yes, this one, yes, this one was. Uh -huh. But generally, generally we have uh, 365. Okay, mm -hmm. only, right. only in this year, it's 366. Mm -hmm. Because this is this is the leap year, but then okay. we're gonna have we're gonna have another leap year in 2021, 22, 23, 24. 24. Uh huh. Then we're gonna have another one. Okay. Oh, thank but you, next teacher. next year is gonna be 365. Okay. But okay. the answer 366 is correct in leap years. Good. Okay. Another question. How many? How many seconds? How many seconds are there in, let's say, uh, what? In a minute? In a minute, okay. Mm -hmm. How many How many seconds are there seconds. in a minute? 16 seconds. 16. 16. 16. 16. Yes, yes, 16. sorry. 16. It's okay, it's okay. 60 seconds, okay, good. Now. In, uh, ask what you ask questions okay practice questions using how many you see you say how many days seconds uh, how many mangoes are there in my mango tree <laughs> huh? <Is> there... <laughs> how many uh, a lot of them no <laughs> 20 <laughs> no First, ask me a question. Do you have a mango tree? And then I say no. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, then you can say, okay, how many how many mangoes are there in a the mango tree? And I say any, right? Zero. Or, or also because it's not a mango season, right? It's not Teacher, a mango. How, uh -huh. how many weekends are there in in this year? How many weekends? Yeah. Wow, like 52 maybe, approximately, yes. approximately 52. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, how many weekends are there in this year? Okay, ask more questions. How many, how many, let's say, um, what else? How many beers? Uh -huh. <laughs> how many? Repeat one. How many? How many beers do you drink? Uh, how, how many? 
How many pairs are there in a case? A case. Box. Uh -huh. The box is a case. Case. In English, right? In a case. 24. Uh -huh. Yes, 24. Of course. That's... Okay. <laughs> now, the other one is how many pears can you drink? That's it. But you can say how many, but you don't use are there. Okay. How many bills are there in your wallet? <laughs> in my wallet. <laughs> okay, that was like, how much money? How uh, much, how much money, money is there uh, in your wallet yeah. to buy beers? <laughs> okay, then you can say that. How okay. many shoes are in in your closet? Um shoes eight. Pairs of shoes four. Okay? Uh -huh. Yes. But uh, how about you, Elena? How Listen to Elena. How many <laughs> <laughs> uh, but wait, 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 wait. No, no less than twenty. You see, no less than twenty in the answer. Uh huh. How many? Why not? <laughs> I, 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 I don't, I don't share, but I think I have ten pairs of shoes. Ten. Can't believe that. <laughs> it, it, it has to be more. <laughs> No. Uh, it has to be more, yes. No. Okay. Because with daughters, it's very difficult. I have many oh. shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you include them, how many do you have in your house? In my house, uh, uh -huh. okay. Around uh, around uh, twenty pairs. Twenty pairs. You see, you see this yes. because uh, women, you know, they they tend to buy more more shoes, right? <laughs> For different reasons, right? Because they have to match the clothes. They are cheaper, right, than men's shoes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But because men's shoes are very expensive, there are expensive shoes for women too. Very, very expensive. Yes, but the the shoes and the clothes for men is more expensive. It's more expensive. That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Good. Then other question. You see how many topics you can use? How many topics? Okay. We how many have... years? One of each. How many years? Are there in one of each? In one of each. I don't get the. Uh, okay, how many years are there? Are there in one of each? Decade. Ah, uh, decade. Decade. Oh, decade. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. How many years are there in one decade? Oh, one okay. decade. Ten. Ten years. Thank you. Decade. Mm -hmm. What else? How many persons are there in your house? Okay, that's six people. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. How many players are in the soccer game? How many players are there in a soccer game? So here you can answer in two forms, right? 22, or you can say uh, 11 players in each team, right? So that's 22. So it depends. Okay, but you can say players, players, 22. Mm -hmm. What else? Ask questions that are impossible to answer. No problem. The idea is to. Teacher. Yes, Manuel. Cars are there in house. How? How many cars? Cars are there in house. In in my house or in your house? In your house. Oh, I have like four cars. Oh, your garage. <laughs> four. Four. <laughs> No, one with one that is Ford. <laughs> no, <laughs> not just two, two cars. Okay. Okay. Maximum, maximum two. Yes. Only two. Mercedes. 
I know I don't know those. I just from Ferrari. You know, the... <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, yes, two. Just two, yeah. two old cars. Yes, Luis. How many pets are there in your house? Oh, in this case, no, I don't have in this moment. I want to have one, but not right now. But I would like to have a dog again. I had two. I had two dogs, uh, but they died like three or four years ago. They were very old. They were very old. They were very nice. And the, but in this moment, I don't have much time to take care of them. But one was 14 years old, the oldest, when he died. And he died because you know he couldn't see, he couldn't walk. He was very, very old. He died of old age. <laughs> okay. Good. So in this moment, I don't have. So there are there aren't any pets. There aren't. You can say this one. Oh, there is one there. There is a bit, a little one there. There aren't any pets in my house. Okay. Or well, I don't have any pets. That's another one. Okay, now we can also use how much. Okay, how much, how much is, how much is the, your watch? Okay, how much is your watch? You can also use uh, how much, uh, How much is a um, laptop? Approximate prices, right? If you know the prices, you can have an idea how much is a, uh, let me see, sound bar, okay. Now, ask other questions. Now, but now if you see, for example, oh, uh, there is another one, how much, Uncountable nouns, right? How much coffee do you drink a day? Okay. Now, let's say, uh, how much is a, lap a laptop nowadays? A new one, brand new. Um, an approximate pr price, you know, that's something that you can estimate. It's around uh, $400. Okay, yes. A good lot, you know, it's around $400, yes. With that money, you can, you can have a good, a good one, yes. What else? What about a sound bar? say sunny or what is the other one LG sound bar teacher uh -huh. bar. you know uh-huh it is a sound bar how much how much? Ah, the sound. You don't know the sound bar? Mm -hmm. Okay, the sound bar is a, a bar where you can connect your cell phone and listen to music or, mm -hmm. your, or your TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you can, you can okay. use it. It's like mm -hmm. home theater. It's like a home theater, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then it's only a bar. And sometimes like they have they have the woofer the, too. It's like, like to the the speaker for the computer. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yeah, you, know, you can use it as a speaker for the TV, for the laptop, for a cell phone. I mean, you don't need to to carry all the stereo, right? No, you just need a bar and a device where you can play music, like the 
like this telephone, and that's it. You can have a party wherever you want. Because you just put the bar here on your shoulder, and then you go to the party. <laughs> okay. Then uh, you can you can you can take the 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 bar here, the cell phone in your pocket, and a six pack of sodas in your other hand, right? And then you go to the party. Okay. Sodas. Okay. Sodas. Only sodas. Okay. What else? How much is a summer more or less? I think they are like two hundred dollars more or less, two hundred fifty. It depends on the on the make, on the brand, right? If it is a Sony, probably it's more expensive. An LG, probably a little bit more. If you have one of those PVs, it's more expensive. If it is a Bose, it's another one. Okay, that's it. How much coffee do you drink a day? Coffee, you cannot count. Remember that we use how much with things that we cannot count. How much coffee do you drink a day? One cup, two cups, three cups, no coffee. Three cups. Three cups a day. Cup a day, mm -hmm. three or four. Three or four, that's okay. Three or four, I, three, I usually drink two or three. Mm -hmm. It's two or three. It's, it's not too much. Okay. Is there is full? <laughs> yes. What else? What else? Another question with how much? How much is? How much are? Mm -hmm. How much the bottle of water do you drink? How uh, much water? Agree. How much water? How much water do you drink? In a week. In a week. Oh, maybe. Let me see. Like three or four gallons, maybe in a week. It's, it's not, yes, it's a little. It's not too much. Then uh, we need to drink more water. Okay, but a little. Uh, yes, because it's uh, yes in one week, like three or four. It should be at least five or six in a week. Okay. Okay. What else? Another question. How much money, much money do you spend on the day? Sorry. Uh huh. How much? Sorry, the same question. Uh huh. Marina, what was the question? The same, teacher. How much really? money do you spend on the week? <laughs> oh no, but it's different because you say on a day. It's a different because uh -huh. I I ask for the day and exactly. she asked ah, okay. for the week. <laughs> In a week. Okay. The time Probably. is different. Mm -hmm. Well, in these days, I spend probably, in my case, I spend like $5 maybe because I don't go out, okay? But when I go out, maybe, yeah, 7 or $8 a day. Okay. Yes, in a week, it's like 40 or $50 in a week. Yes, Liz? How many calls did you make today? How many? Calls. Oh, calls. Calls. Did calls. you did you make today? Any. I didn't call anybody, but I wrote like like 40, 40 emails maybe. Okay, so I now people are using more emails than than you know than uh, than calls and WhatsApp messages. I also answer many many WhatsApp messages, but more emails than WhatsApp. Okay, yes. How much fruit hit per day? How much? Fruit. Mm -hmm. Hit the day? Hit. Uh, today I ate, I ate half of a papaya that I had in the refrigerator, the half, the 50%. Oh. <laughs> yes, it depends. If I have fruit that I like, I eat a lot fruit. <laughs> okay. If the fruit I don't, if there is fruit that I don't like, I don't eat too much. Okay, but I usually eat fruit because I like most of the fruit. Okay. Oh. All right. Then you can see how much fruit, how much coffee, uh, how many. Okay. So these are questions. How much water? How much water? Mm -hmm. How, how much, much exercise? Soda. How much exercise? Uh -huh. Do today? How much money? Exactly. 
How much money? Yes. How how much money do you have? Uh, I can answer that question because it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous, you know. Then uh, I don't know exactly. I have no idea. <laughs> I still have my my Christmas bonus that I didn't touch from 2010. <laughs> no, I. They, for example, I don't have much. I don't have much money. Right now, I have like three dollars in my pocket. Okay, <laughs> enough for enough for tomorrow's pupusas. <laughs> yes. What else? What else? How many pupusas do you eat? Ah, oh, no, I told you the other day. It depends. Uh, usually four. Depends. It depends on the size. Okay. Okay. If it is uh, medium size, maybe maybe four. If it is big, four. If they are small, eight. <laughs> so it depends. No, cheese. no. The maximum. The maximum is cheese. five. Maybe five. Mm -hmm. Yes, cheese. The cheese ones. The cheese ones are good. Pork. Pork is is. Oh yes, the pork it's ones. Yeah. Plan de yes. Also, you know, the pork pupusas also are good, you know, beans and cheese, so all the combinations are. So pork and cheese, I think that it's a good dish. Is pupusas crazy. <laughs> yes, but I don't remember if they are from, from Isalco, from Sonsonate, I guess, right? Because I remember last time they, they, they gave me one, but it was like this, very big. But it's like, I don't remember, it was like $3. But it's, one is sufficient to, well, you, I cannot eat one. I eat like a little bit more than half and you are satisfied. Okay. Now, uh, well, no questions about how much and how many? No more questions. No further questions then. Okay, good. Now, then from here. Okay, now we're going to go to, do you have this uh, conversation in your computers? Yes? Or? Yes, teacher. Because we're going to practice the pronunciation, okay? with this conversation, but I'm gonna give you five minutes to read it, okay? Quickly. In the groups. So that you have only two, uh, two people reading, okay? First you read one part and then you, sw you switch, you swap the roles, okay? You're gonna have like six minutes to practice. On the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What, a, what about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? 
No, it's very, it's pretty safe. How long, how long does, well, wait, please. Mm. How long does my car alarm? I called you back later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Uh, now switch, now switch the roles. And after, when you finish, uh, I'm going to go to the groups. Then you can com continue with the conversation, but probably change some part, right? Uh, I am change. Now. Uh -huh. can now. You can, no, you can oh, change. You can, <laughs> you can use your name. <laughs> now you can use your names if you want, okay? Good. Thank you. Okay, okay. continue practicing, okay. all right? Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, I, I'm Nick now. <laughs> you are Nick. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like? No, si querés, lee. Si querés, no sé, comenzar vos o yo. Y ahí nos. Por ejemplo, si lo tenés ahí, yo, yo leo que si querés lo de Nick y vos seis lo, con lo de Pam. Oh, bye. Voy a comenzar yo, Nick. How do you like your new new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. It is very convenient. Downtown. Is there much noise? Oh no, there is any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? On the corner. What about parking? Well, there, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's very safe. Hold on. They left you alone. Okay. Then uh, let me see, go to, I will send you to another group. Go to another group to practice. Are your place? Uh, a lot in fact, there, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's yes. Hello. Okay. Um, Nick, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there is. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants yes. are there? Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, a moment. Beginning. How many restaurants are here near your place? Hello. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about your parking? 
Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a play on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. Thanks, my car alarm. I call you back later. Pamela to live in Soyapango. <laughs> okay, very good. Now, Excellent. Continue. Then practice with another one. Okay. Minor and Pablo. Okay. Okay. Minor. Minor. Your. Um, I start. I mix or um, pump. I am um, pump. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Ahora, <laughs> okay. Ajá. Tu mío. Sí. Eh, yo soy Nick Pam. Va. Yo soy Pam. How do you like? <laughs> yes. How do you like your new peppermint? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How oh, many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there, is, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty. Okay. Good. Now we're going to just probably in you know, some uh, words. Remember that here. Let me see here. The, you say, "How do you like your new apartment?" I love it. It's downtown. It's convenient. Uh, is there much noise? Okay. This one fifth. Fifth. Floor, okay, fifth floor, fifth floor, fifth, uh, near your place, in fact, remember the end of this is T, in fact, and then there were probably uh, parking garages, the parking garages, and then crime, and hold on. Okay, those are the words that probably are a little bit more, let's say, less less uh, less common, right? So then you have hold on, crime, and parking garages. Then we have the next one. Now look at the quantifiers. Ask to ask uh, to ask questions and give answers. What are the quantifiers, words, 
that we use with how many and how much, but probably not very specific. Okay, when we say how many days are there in a week, we say seven. How many minutes are there in, a, in an hour? We say 60. How many seconds are there in one minute? We say 60. But then for, uh, we say how much, uh, let's say, um, let me see how many, how many people are there in, in San Salvador? Well, we can say a lot. Okay, we cannot give exactly a specific number. Or you can say uh, a few, how many people are there in your house in this moment? If you don't want to give a number, you say a few, many, uh, none, I am alone, okay? So then these are less specific, but they give you an idea, right? Of the quantity of things that you can count and things that you cannot count. Okay, now pay attention in this video to see the difference of the things that we can count and the things that we cannot count. Okay, here we go. Teacher, the sound. It's not working, the sound? It no. Oh. Now it's, now it's In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. <coughs> both questions. Okay, another thing that you have to pay attention to is that in the count nouns, you have a lot in the two in the two cases, right? To talk about count and non-count. A few is for count nouns and a little for non-count. Okay, you can say, I have a few friends in the United States. And you can say here, I drink a little coffee every day. No, a few coffee or a little friend, okay? So this is for count noun, things that we can say one, two, three friends, four friends, five friends, plural. And coffee is for things that you don't count. For example, I put a little sugar in my coffee. Or I put a lot of sugar in my coffee. Okay? Then you can use this one. This one is similar. This one is different. Many is for count nouns. Much is for non-count nouns. Any is in questions or negative sentences in the two, count and non-count. And none is for both. Okay, how many friends do you have in the United States? None, zero. 
uh, how much coffee do you, I mean, how much uh, milk do you drink a day? None. Okay, no milk. <clears throat> okay, so this is what you have to pay attention to. None count. Only things that we cannot put in plural. The count nouns are things that have a plural. Car, cars, book, books, a child, children, man, men, woman, women, okay? But non-count is coffee, sugar, a water, a dust, a rice, flour, okay? All the things that have, uh, that we cannot count. Okay, no questions about this? Okay, you have to, don't forget the, the use of quantifiers. And answers are singular. Okay, that's the, to remember how to give quantities, amounts, quantifiers. And is it the same thing? Now listen to the count and non-count nouns uh, well, check here the explanation. Say, pay attention if it's a count noun and non-count nouns. Okay, so we have here. This one, I don't think we're gonna have enough time to, to check it for today. So you do it for tomorrow and we are going to check it. Just uh, to give you an idea for example, noise is count or non count? Non count. Non count. Uh huh. Because we cannot say there are there are noises, right? In Spanish, probably yes. Okay. And this is another thing that is sometimes if you translate into Spanish, you can get confused. Okay. Because in Spanish we can say oigo ruido y oigo ruidos. Okay. Mm -hmm. But in English you only say there is much noise, okay? Mucho ruido, okay? Then this one is similar in Spanish, when, uh, but in some cases, it's going to be different, okay? For example, restaurant is count or don't count? Count. 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 You, can, you can see the plural, right? One restaurant, two restaurants. And then you can say much or many. Many. There you have many. Many. Okay. And then so on. So you just, in crime, remember crime is singular, I mean count or non count? No count. No count. No, no count. 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 So it's much or many? Much. 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 Okay, good. All right. Then this is what you're going to. Well, if you already did it, perfect. If you haven't done it, do it, and tomorrow we check it together. And tomorrow we are also going to check the midterm exam, right? If you have questions or something about the exam or platform, tomorrow we have a, a space to review all the first half of the course. Tomorrow is the eighth class, so it's the middle of the course, okay? So we can have uh, questions and a review of everything. We can ask questions. Okay, so remember, Friday, class tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow, okay? Eight o'clock. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night, guys. Take care. Take care.